hello everyone welcome back to my channel lazy bay designs on this tutorial so i'm going to teach you how to make these beautiful bell trousers for my client okay so stay connected as we get started Great, so these are the materials I've been needing for my trousers, ruler, three yards of African print, pins, scissors, and then tape measure. Okay, so I'll fold my three yards of African print into two this way by making sure the selvage to selvage matches. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so the measurement I'll be needing for my tutorials are waist 27 hip 39 but i'll be using hip 40 so the one inch as my ease okay so around tie is 23 around knee 17 okay so i'll first of all mark out my hip 40 divided by 4 is 10 inches plus 2.5 1.5 as my cross extension and then one inch as seam allowance making 12.5 so i then marked out the 12.5 both on the waistline and then on the hip line okay please it's a high waist trousers so i'll then come down from the waistline like two inches so i'll be starting from the natural waist so from the natural waist downwards so that's the two inches so from the natural waist or below the two inches downwards to the knee okay i'll then mark out and then mark the same thing at the other side as well that is 27 inches I then connected it with my ruler please the 27 inches allowance has been added both the hem and then the waist okay so now I'm about to work on the crotch so that's the two inches I marked okay so from the waist the natural waist to the crotch is 10 inches so this is it and then i came to the other side 10 inches okay so i'll then connect it to the ruler and then mark my 1.5 as the crotch extension okay so that's the 1.5 okay I'll be marking from the hip or the uh, yeah from the hip to the crotch i'll be marking the same thing on the waistline i will then connect it with my ruler to become a straight line okay so the 1.5 at the crotch line this is it but when we come to the waistline i'm not going to mark 1.5 i'll be marking 2.5 i will then add one inch to the 1.5 i added at the crotch area making 2.5 for the waistline please that's the formula for how i cut my trousers to have a perfect fit okay i wouldn't mark the same 1.5 on the waistline but rather i'll mark 2.5 i added one inch to it okay so the real waist measurement is 27 divided by 4 i then marked and then added one inch as my seam allowance afterwards i'll connect it to the side of the trousers like this okay and then when we come to the knee area 17 divided by 2 I then marked it and then added about 1 to 1.5 inch allowance this is it so I will then connect it from the knee to the crotch line like this great so this is all i'll be having for my front i will then go ahead and then cut out to cut my back great so after cutting out the front i will then cut out the back okay on the same folded fabric i will then place it at the other side of the fabric after cutting out the front okay so about to work on the back the crotch extension for the back 
please it's three inches because of the bottles three inches marked and then i'll extend it downwards to the knee area about 1.5 inches great so after extending it downwards about 1.5 inches i will then connect it to the front crotch and then draw my crotch line meeting the waist area of the front but i'll be leaving an interval of 1.5 away from the front crotch like what i'm doing when it gets to the waist of the front i'll then raise it up about one inch like this after raising it up about one inch i'll then connect it to the side of the of the trousers as in the side of the front like what i have done okay so this is all i'll be having for the back great i left three inches for the cr crotch at the back and then 1.5 at the side area to the knee 1.5 at the waist area and then raised it up about one inch and then connected it to the side of the front i will then cut out i will then cut out and then cut out the goddess to be attached to the hem of the trousers please at this point if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet kindly do so and press the notification bell to notify you anytime i upload any video kindly leave your comment and then like for me great so this is what i'll be having after cutting out i'll then indicate the wrong side of both pieces like this okay so the next thing to do is to go ahead and then cut out the goddess to be attached at the hem of the trousers so 41 minus 25 please i made it 27 inches because allowance was added to it so i'll be making it 25 so i'll be taking away the allowance so it is 41 minus 25 so the rest of the inches left i will use i will use that to cut the goddess at the hem of the trousers great i will then divide it into two after dividing i realized it was too short to give me fullness so i decided to cut another pieces to join so that i'll get a lot of fullness in the goddess okay so i use the rest i use the rest of the fabric left i then cut out great so after cutting out i'll then join it to the pieces cut out making sure right side faces each other I'll then go ahead and then stitch half an inch downwards at both sides. Okay. After joining the pieces, I'll go ahead and then create my goddess at one side of the fabric like this. I'll create a goddess of about 17 inches and then one inch or two inches as my seam allowance for both sides okay so this is what i'll be having after creating the goddess at the knee area i then added lining to make it more heavy and then bulky okay adding lining will make the flare really stand the goddess really stand okay so i'm about to work on the trousers this is the back of the trousers i'll then Open it, making sure right side of each faces me, and then place the right side of the front on onto it this way. I'll then go ahead and sew one inch at both sides, one inch downwards, and then one inch at this side as well. 
great so after sewing one inch at both sides i will then open it flat this way making sure right side faces me and then place the other side of the joining onto it like this okay so what i'll be doing next is to shape it according to the person's measurement but when we come when it comes to the front area i will then measure one inch from the waist area downwards to the crotch area the crotch area is going to be 0 0.5 that is half inch but from the waist downwards it's one inch okay so to get a person's measurement i will then move away from the one inch marked at the front area move away to the back area 40 inches i marked my 40 inches so that would be 20 inches and then i connected it from the crotch back and then the waist 27 that is 13.5 okay so i'll make the excess or majority of the excess to be at the back rather instead of the front okay like this so the next thing to do is to indicate my zip line so from the waist downwards i'll indicate my zip line i will then leave about one inch or 1.5 inch downwards and then mark that was 12 inches that would be for my zip i would then sew from the back crotch to where the zip ends okay great so this is what i have after marking after sewing on the mark created i would then open it like this and then measure my tie Okay, make sure make sure the crotch area matches so pull all the excess backwards like this and then make sure the crotch area matches afterwards i'll measure the tie and then the knee so 17 inches divided by two i marked and then 23 divided by two i marked afterwards I will join it to the knee area and then sew all along yes so I will sew along to the other side of the leg great so this is what I have after sewing um, after sewing and you think it's too bulky you just trim off a bit to remain like one inch or half inch great so this is what i have after turning to the right side the next thing to do is to go ahead and then fix fix in my goddess i'll fix in the goddess at the hem great I will join it making sure the right side faces each other and then join it about half an inch downwards to enable me fix it into the knee of the trousers great so this is what i have after joining the knee the goddess to the knee of the trousers i'll then go ahead and then finish the hem of the trousers by double folding double folding and then top stitching great i'm about to cut the band for the trousers um the wideness of about three two inches sorry half inch at both sides so that i'll be left with one inch so i cut out about one inch wideness and then the length is going to be the is going to be the length of the waist including the excess at the back so you measure all around and then cut out a band that will fit perfectly great since i didn't get a straight band i will then join it i 
I will then join it about half an inch and then join it to the waist of the trousers. Great. So I'm about to Okay, this is it. So what I'm about to do is to place the right side of the band onto the wrong side of the trousers. I will sew about half an inch and then turn to the right side of the trousers, fold it in about half an inch and then top stitch. Great, so this is what I have after fitting in the band. I'll then go ahead and then fix the zip as well then our trousers is ready great so this is the final look after fixing in my zip thank you all for watching my videos please if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet kindly do so and then press the notification bell to notify you anytime i upload any video see you all in our next video bye